So many a love guru, dating coach, or relationship expert will tell you that to build true confidence, you simply have to just know you're worth it on the inside, just for existing. But the reality is that in the modern world, we are measured for our worth based on what can be observed of us. And while it may seem simple to just start loving what God gave you, the truth is that we measure our own worth based partly at least on our own perception of our reflection in the world. And that's why so many of you think that the Ashleys and Aishas of the world only want the Chads and Tyrones. There's a fine line between outer accomplishment and inner self-worth and the ways to build true confidence and beat imposter syndrome falls somewhere in the middle. Well, here are three ways to build true confidence and beat imposter syndrome as suggested by Chris Williamson. And these align very nicely with the suggestions I have in my Wake Up To Love program. Number one, reflect on your successes. We all tend to focus on our failures and disregard our successes. And while it is good to learn from our failures, you don't wanna dwell on them. So when you accomplish something, even if it's small, like maybe getting your butt to the gym for the first time in a long time or ever, that's actually a bigger one, but still, you want to congratulate yourself, give yourself a little pat on the back and sooner than later. Two. Organize celebrations for what you do well in. So let's say you did lose the 10 pounds you've wanted to lose, or you did already pay off a debt you wanted to pay off, or you did stop eating crap for a month. Awesome, give yourself a high five. Me high five in you and me. Notice there's nothing about charming a girl into giving you her number. You might not be good at that yet. That might be why you're here, but there are things you are good at that you should give yourself some credit for. And number three, Chris suggests finding appropriate mentors. And I've suggested this in other videos as well as in my program, actually. So what you wanna do is you wanna find a community of like-minded, positive, supportive people in whatever domain you want to get really good at. Speak to them regularly to get feedback and validation and reassurance. You can even do this by watching videos about whatever topic you want to get better at. Maybe it's decoding women, maybe it's understanding women, in which case you're in the right place. If it's something else, find that community where you can learn from other people who are already doing well at the thing you want to do well at. Ask questions in the comments, get feedback, help each other, support each other. Or as Chris suggests, and I've suggested as well, if you can, find a men's group that you can meet up with in the real world. It's so much better if you can actually meet in the real world. It's great to have an online community, but if you can push yourself a little bit to get out in the real world with like-minded, positive, supportive men who are trying to do the thing you wanna get better at or who are already doing the thing that you wanna get better at, they're doing it well, find those guys and join them. Join them. 